What if I told you that scientists just created a new solar panel that's a 1,000 times stronger than the ones we use today? This means they can produce more power using the same amount of sunlight. Sounds crazy, right? But it's true! A groundbreaking discovery from the University of Tokyo has introduced a whole new way to harness solar power, one that could completely change how we generate electricity. This groundbreaking discovery has shocked both scientific and industrial communities in the solar energy sector. These new solar panels use titanium dioxide and selenium instead of silicon, making them not only incredibly durable, but also much more efficient. You will be surprised when you learn this advancement is due to a mysterious rare element no one have considered before. But how does this work? Could this technology finally make solar energy cheaper and more accessible for everyone? And is this the beginning of a new energy revolution? Do you agree with the researchers that these new Japanese solar panels will replace traditional solar panels, knowing that the new panel will be much more stronger and cheaper? Stick around to the end, because this might just be the future of clean energy as we know it. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more mind-blowing tech updates. For years, solar panels have relied on silicon. It's a great material, but it comes with its fair share of problems, fragility, high costs, and limitations in efficiency. That's why researchers have been looking for better alternatives, and they may have just struck gold. The Japanese researchers realized that although titanium is one of the strongest and most durable metals, there's a major problem. It's incredibly expensive to extract. The process of removing oxygen from titanium ore requires huge amounts of energy, making it impractical for many industries. But later, they discovered a way to make it cheaper. Their new titanium dioxide and selenium combination changes everything. Titanium is known for being incredibly strong and resistant to corrosion. It's the same material used in aerospace and medical industries. And when combined with selenium, it boosts the efficiency of energy conversion to levels we've never seen before. But hold on, there's more. These panels don't just perform better, they might actually be cheaper in the long run. One of the biggest costs in solar panel production is silicon refinement. But titanium could potentially be produced using more cost-effective methods. And here's the kicker. Scientists are also using a rare element called yttrium to further enhance the purification process, which could make titanium even more affordable and accessible. So what does this mean for the future? If these panels become widely available, we could see a huge shift in the renewable energy industry. Imagine a world where solar power is cheaper, more durable, and more efficient than ever before. No more worrying about panels breaking or losing efficiency over time. This technology could be the key to making clean energy the dominant source of power across the globe. This is just the beginning, and there's still a lot of research to be done. But if scientists can overcome the remaining technical and economic challenges, we might be looking at a complete transformation of the energy sector. However, there's a catch. The process leaves up to 1% yttrium in the final product. While that might not sound like much, it could impact titanium's durability and resistance to corrosion. But don't write this method off just yet. Scientists are already working on ways to reduce yttrium contamination while keeping costs low. If they succeed, we could be looking at a future where titanium is not only stronger, but also far more affordable and accessible. So what do you think? Could titanium-based solar panels be the future? Let us know in the comments. And if you want to stay updated on the latest tech breakthroughs, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. The future of energy is happening right now, and you don't want to miss it.